Hello, I'm Leslie Atherton and this little story is called Late for Alf. So, that was it. I stretched my hand out and touched him. He was cold. I'd never thought all that much of him before. He'd been one of the many street people I'd seen begging and the one I chose to help. I can't tell you why I chose him, but it wasn't his good manners that swung it. I think everyone ignored him, except me, but I took an unexpected shine to him. I'd usually stop and give him a sandwich and some milky tea in a plastic cup. But this morning I was late, I took a different route and journeyed by taxi instead of the bus. I didn't see him and he didn't see me. The day's hailstones were heavy, deafening on my office's windows and Alf didn't cross my mind for one second until I left the building to make my way home. By 5pm the hail had turned to a beautiful feathery snow. I walked the five minute stretch to the bus station and looked towards Alf's usual bench. He was asleep. I walked to him as usual and laid my daily contribution by his side. It was only then that I noticed the colour of his hand and worryingly the lack of steamy breath coming from his mouth or nose. Even his unwashed odour seemed somehow lessened as if it had been frozen out. Alf, I said. Commuters looked at me, unconcerned but momentarily curious. Alf, have a sandwich for you, BLT today and a brew. I shook his arm. Gently, he was unresponsive, cold, his eyes unseeing. I called one of the bus drivers. Together we checked Alf. We touched his face, hopefully, but it was no use. He was gone. I still pass your bench, Alf, twice every weekday, and I still buy a sandwich and a milky tea in a plastic cup. Now it's Harry who takes it from me. He's one of life's casualties. And a chatterbox. The things I could tell you about him. Harry's all right. But I've never forgotten you, Alf. I wish I'd woken just five minutes earlier, had caught my first bus, had bought you your usual breakfast and shared our usual morning witticisms. I don't blame myself for your passing, but I just wish I could have helped or said goodbye. Alf, I miss you.